Filling up the champagne pop. It's my house, come on, turn it up uh. Hear a knock on the door and the night begins Cause we've done this before so you come on in Make yourself at my home, tell me where you been Pour yourself something cold, baby, cheers to this Press Pass Live, the rules edition, the fair play rules edition. All right, I'm going to be honest with you. You can laugh at me later. I just recorded uh, two hours worth of podcast. Excuse me as I kind of open my, uh, my golf cup since my voice is shy. I just did two hours worth of podcast. Um, about 45 minutes through podcast. One was what I'm about to do here with you now, covering the fair play rules and introduction for the league. And the other is about a mad uh, article that had come out. Two press pass lives that needed to happen this week. Go to edit them, and uh, 45 minutes into the first podcast, my mic came unplugged, and I never knew. And so there was no audio for... An hour and 20 minutes of the two hours worth of stuff. So, I say that to say welcome back. If you are listening to this or watching this, then that means that you are checking us out for the very first time. And I appreciate you for doing that. I want to just tell you a little bit about our league. I'm going to cut the fluff. Mainly because I've been talking for two hours. And uh, I don't want to talk for another two hours. So, this is our website, Grown Folks oc.weebly.com this is the main hub this is where you should be going every 24 to 48 hours if you're a member here the first slider will have all the recent updates of all the different leagues that we're plugged into you can find the forums up here the league pages because every league has its own little website little chat room in case you are not in the group me chat and want to say something to us uh, or in case group me ever goes down which it does sometimes the rules uh, of what leagues that join us need to be. So if you <clears throat> know the commissioner of a league or a clan or a team or anything like that, and you would like to bring your league here, we'd love for you to join our community. These are kind of the rules that show us, um, show you, I should say, who we are and what we're all about. And then there's a join button that people can click and fill out a little form, pick what league that they're interested in, tell us a little bit about themselves and uh, who they are. If you are joining the Grown Folks Mad League, we do ask that you're over 18. Actually, for all the leagues, that you have to be over 18. But for just Grown Folks, we ask that you are here in the continental United States. Um, just because it's very, very difficult to schedule with other people who are not. Other leagues, especially like FIFA and WWE, those are different situations that we can really work on. So don't let that keep your team uh, from coming and joining here. Here's just a little bit of news about grown folks and what got us to start grown folks and how you can join. Here are just some everyday sticky things that you need to, to know about. And at the bottom, you'll find all the different leagues that we have. We currently have the Grown Folks Madden League, Grown Folks Madden Coach Only League, which is ran by Commissioner Chaotic, and the Online Championship Wrestling Federation. It's a WWE 2K Federation. That's a very legit league. They um, I just advertise for them. You know, they have their own thing going on, their own website. They're on everything. They're legit. They've been doing this for 12 years. I play there, and I just really believe in what they're doing. So we shut down our league, and we play there now, and I just want to advertise for them. They are not part of our forums. They have their own everything. But <clears throat> other leagues that join us, we would ask that you become part of the community and part of the forums. And I can do graphics for you. We give you a website, and we give you a form, and we give you full control over everything. And we'd love for you to come be a part of who we are and what we're doing. Let's get to why we're here. These are our forms, what they look like. It's a place here for the general talk. Of course, I'm the only one talking to myself right now. Because, uh, guys, it's the summer, and most guys are just being quiet. So I'd love to hear your input, get you to put it in there. These are our two uh, Madden League forms or WWE 2K signups so that I can just know if you're interested. I can point you over there. And if you bring your league here, this is our leadership chat for us to talk. Once you click the WWE, uh, the WWE League, listen to me, the GFML forms, 
you will see our fair play rules and regulations. We are not a sim league, and I say that with pride. We are getting away from the sim language. We are a strategic league with fair play rules. Sim can be argued about what is simulation football. This is a fair play, uh, a sim, a, excuse me, a strategy league with fair play rules to keep the playing field even to where you are now out coaching each other with strategy and not because you're really good at the sticks and you have the right speed player at the right position. <clears throat> Weekly updates, this is all the main hub. This is where you get your new member packet that I'm sending you where if you have a team here, you'd like to request uh, a signature, an avatar, I make up these really neat graphics for you. We've changed them a little bit since this. You can kind of see the new ones here in my signature. So they're just a little bit neater. Um, and then, of course, I get to know you. So you can get to know the guys who are around here by answering a little quiz. The other forms are our league and team media hub. So any media that comes out gets posted here. How to use Twitch tutorial, how to post an article on Daddy League tutorial. And then our incentive program uh, is also listed here. We'll get more into that later. The team news is where teams can actually publish and promote the material for their actual team. Post articles and links to their Daddy League post. So we really encourage guys to do that. <clears throat> Under scheduling, there's the owners list. Uh, so you can click that and find all of the owner's information. I'm actually updating this today. So we'll get that updated with everyone's stuff. The out-of-town thread, you'll see that also in your new member packet. Anytime that you're going to be out of town, we'd love for you to post and let us know when you're leaving, when you're going to be back, and when we should expect you to be on auto so that we can take care of you. I will delete posts as you get back. This is how we expect games to be posted. So as we get to that section in the new member packet, I ask that you please read this thread and post very specifically the way we ask for things to be posted. This is a necessity. It's how it has to be done. It's the only way for our board members to know where games stand and what we should be doing with games. As games are played, you can see that we lock threads. We usually clean that out every single off-season so that we start afresh. As you post trades, you can go to the trade form here. This thread here will show you exactly how trades are to be posted. Both owners must agree. Once it's been approved or denied, we close the thread. At the end of the offseason, we delete all of the threads. If you have a waiver wire post, a player that's 80 overall or above, we ask that you read these two posts and post this exactly how we ask you to post it. Here, you can also find the waiver wire order, which is updated every couple of weeks. And I added the rules just to make it a little bit easier for you to be able to find. We also clock those posts as we award them, and we clear those out. This is the boardroom, which you cannot see. So let's get to why we are here, our new member packet. So if you are new here and I'm sending you this, or you're watching this video, then I have sent you this new member packet. Simply sign up for our forums. I'll give you an approval, and then you'll be able to see all the forums that I just showed you. After seeing that, you'll click the link that I sent you, and it'll send you to this new member packet. This tells you a little bit about us and how we got to where we were. <clears throat> I'm not going to bore you with all the details so you don't have a four-hour video to listen to and watch, but I would say that I've been doing this since 2001. I started the longest online active league that's in the world today. It's called the OMFL. They're still going strong. It started as a PC league, and we ran for many, many years as a once-a-week advanced league, if you can imagine that. That promoted a lot of post and team post and offline games that were just a ton of fun. I actually got started doing Tech Mobile online. Those leagues actually still exist as they have updated rosters. And they got me piqued, my interest got me interested and in, into online leagues. And once Madden made their PC game in 2000 that had the online leagues, I started, I got the game in December of 2000 and started the league in 2001. After several, several years of the PC League, I took it back over as a PlayStation 3 League, which then moved to a PlayStation 4 League, which I had then given up by then and just was a member. Uh, in Madden, the end of Madden 2015, I decided for Madden 2016, I wanted to do something a little bit new. And out of those initial conversations created the gamers online community with the flagship Madden franchise being Grown Folks. 
now gamers has been changed over to grown folks online community but our madden league was birthed out of that and over the past year we've watched it grow and shape different and look different than what i was used to but really find who we are what we are and what we're looking to be we are a three-day advanced league we will get to all the different settings but we're a league who's looking for a commitment to more we ask for a commitment to your team as we want you here for the entire madden we are a year-round league but we are leaning towards starting to take a semi-summer break where we play five seasons and wherever that fifth season leaves us off if you want a break we offer you a break And if you don't want a break, we'll keep the franchise going or we'll also promote a tournament that will keep guys plugged in. But even on your break, we ask that you still post in the group me chat. You still participate in the forums. And if guys start disappearing, then unfortunately, we have to look at replacing you. We ask for a commitment to the league and to making this a better place by participating in podcasts, participating in draft shows, participating in drafts posting your own articles, and promoting who we are to the circle of people that you're connected to in this Madden community. We also ask for a commitment to this online community that we're starting to form. If you have a league, if you're a clan member, if if you run a commission, anything like that, we would love to host you. Again, we can offer you graphics, a forum, and a website. We would just want to form a community of people who has a nice pool of good sim owners. And that is who we are, and that is what we want to do here. We have enough buttholes in our body, and so we don't need people who are going to come in here and be jerks. And if you don't want to fit in, if this is just one of your third, fourth, fifth leagues, if you're just interested in playing, you're not interested in all the other stuff, then I'm certain enough to say that we're not going to be a good league for you and that there's no reason for us to pursue moving forward. There's a million other leagues out there, and you can go play in one of those, but we're not going to be uh, what you're looking for, and you're not going to be what we're looking for. We are a strategic league with fair play rules. We want to be a league where you have to outthink the other guy, not just get a fast player and outstick the other guy. We're looking for good dudes who just want to make connections in a great community And stick around for the long haul. We're looking for guys who will be active in more than just games. Be active in our chat, our forums, the Daddy League pages, with blog posts, participating in our live podcast, draft shows, and even promoting who we are to the circle of people that you're connected to. Here in this thread, I'm going to cover the next steps as a new member, cover our rules, and give you a brief overview of who we are and why we have the things in place that we have. Those things are going to include you to play an online game. It's going to include for you to fill out a short quiz and just follow some next steps for us to make sure that you're going to be a good fit and that we're a good fit for you because we understand that we're not a league that everyone is looking for. If you want to know who the board members are and what is what comprises the board and what uh, jobs they have. You can see that here. Chaotic is the co-commish. Brady, Bill, and Steve, both, uh, all three help me. And we all together get graphics, scheduling, gameplay, and watching over roster and GM checks. So you can see our owners list here. I showed it to you a little earlier, but that's all the information about every owner here. It needs to be updated, but it'll be done by this weekend. We also ask that you would read our fair play rules. This video is something that you can watch that I'll walk you through it, but ignorance really is no excuse. We've broken the, li- the rules up into four sections to make them easier to understand and to read, <laughs> and <clears throat> I've even went out of my way to make this video. Please excuse my voice. I've been talking now for three hours, and I've been fighting a cough and a cold for quite a while now. So I hate to keep clearing my throat and I'm trying to fight through it so that uh, I don't bother you guys. So, ignorance is no excuse. We ask that you would please take a look at these rules. So let's take a look at them here. You'll find them. This link will be this video that we're actually making now. It's a really neat defensive play calling article that a guy who used to be here made. Just talks about mixing it up. One of the plays that is mentioned on here 
but it's not in the rules yet, but I will be adding that uh, this weekend, is this cover two. This is what a cover two zone looks like. It's where the two cornerbacks play sharp. <clears throat> the linebackers in some kind of mix and match play the middle. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. And the safeties play over the top. Um, that play is very overpowered, and it, it will be a play that will be added to the rules. So even after you watch this video, just scan over the rules. Make sure there's nothing that's been added or changed without before I could update this video. Um, this is a play that we ask you not to run very often, even in its many different forms. should not be a play that we run 10, 12, 15, 20 times a game. It should be a, a play that's ran in the appropriate times. So I just want to throw that out there because that's not going to be in the rules that we cover today. Here you'll see the general rules, the fair play rules on offense, fair play rules on defense, and then our regulations about trades and offseason. I'll just give you some general overview about who we are and the different things that we're asking from people. The number one thing here is respect. At Grown Folks, we are a league made up of just that, grown people. You have to be over 18. You have to be in the continental United States. <clears throat> We've had other guys from outside of the continental United States. It's just very, very difficult to get that to work. This includes for you to be respectful in, pro, in PMs on GroupMe, on PlayStation, text message, any of that stuff, and just general sportsmanship. So not bashing owners, running up the score, anything like that. If we feel like you've overstepped the line, we will ask you to chill out, and then we will ask you to leave. One of my strict rules is to keep your aggressive, passive-aggressive, direct, indirect comments about gameplay out of the main chat. I know that some people just hate Madden, and yet you continue to buy it and you can continue to play in franchises because it's just a cool thing to be a part of. But you being negative about the game and how much you hate it just gives a negative vibe in the chat. and It makes guys not want to participate in there. So we ask that you keep, when you're playing your game, keep all of your comments out of the chat and even after the game. Just leave it alone. Let's not antagonize guys. Let Be nice or leave. That's just basically what it comes down to. If there is a complaint, we ask that you take 24 hours to sleep on it, and then when you do file the complaint, you send it to me or one of the board members with a link to the archived video, timestamps of what rule was broken, so that we can now watch that video, look at those timestamps, and find out. If that's too much for you, then... You gotta you gotta make that commitment. It goes back to the commitment to the league. We ask that you do that because not all the board members have hours upon hours upon hours to watch entire gameplays for one or two plays that a guy may have done to you that you felt were <clears throat> not cool. So either keep a notepad close to you and record it when it happens, or go back and watch the video. But you must give us 24 hours after your game's over, turn it over with timestamps so that we can take and make some official uh, complaints and take some official steps with the guy to help him be better. Large leads in showboating, we ask that you just be very mindful. Guys will get up big and continue to pass. We ask that you cut that out. You know when a guy's thrown in the white flag, whether he said it or showed it, back off and don't do that to them. Don't keep passing. Run the clock. Run the ball. Let's get that game over with. So that guy can move on with his day. We ask that you don't use the showboat celebrate feature, even if it's a game-winning play. <clears throat> we just ask that you keep it classy. And some guys get really frustrated with that. There's just no reason to have it. The other thing would be uh, the forums. They're very important. It's a very old-school technique here. But we ask that you please use our forums. You must schedule in our forums. You must participate in our forums. You should be visiting visiting the forums, every 24 hours. All owners must schedule on the forums at all times. We promote that owners would use that for extra materials such as power rankings, articles, podcasts. All of these extra things are not required, but they go back to that commitment that we're asking guys to do. We do have an incentive award program. There's gold, silver, and bronze that you can win. There's different expectations that include participating in extra contact about your own team, about the league, participating in draft chats, podcasts throughout the season. 
being very active in the chat, getting a majority of your games scheduled early, all of your games scheduled, getting all of your games played, not breaking any rules, not having any disputes, <clears throat> and just being a great owner and supporter. If you do those things, you can win three extra players that you can trade in the offseason. We'll cover that in a little bit, but another extra confidence reset, even a cap reset. So we give you some incentives that you can work your way towards just by participating in that program. All owners have 24 hours to schedule their game. League advances happen every 72 hours unless games are done sooner. We do ask that you would post within 24 hours. We show you how to post. We show you what to post. It is required that both owners post. If the game is played early, then get a post up saying we played as soon as the game was advanced so that we can close it out and we know that that game was done. This has to happen. If only one owner posts and the game is not played within 24 hours, then we will send that game for the guy who, who posted and did his part. It has to go down that way. Emergencies happen, life happens, things happen. But we ask that if you set a time, show up for that time, be respectful for that guy, cut him some slack, and let's make sure these games get posted. This is very important, so important that we have a board member that that is his main job and duty is to make sure that you post and use our forums. If you can't use our forums, if that is a problem, then this league won't be for you. If you refuse to be active on our forums, this league won't be for you. We're asking that you do these things, <coughs> excuse me, because we absolutely have to have them. And, and it is something that, as a league, is a requirement. Right now, our difficulty settings are all pro with slider settings. We do use slider settings from Operation Sports that have been tested, but we adjust those settings after we see a stat, uh, stats after a year of playing. Not a full human year, but a Madden season. After a season, we'll adjust those sliders even more to fit what we feel like needs to be fit with our owners. We may change that to all Madden for next Madden. That's in discussions, but as of right now, it's all pro. Right now, we play 10-minute quarters with Excel clock to 15. Comes out to about an hour <clears throat> hour and 10 minutes, maybe even 50 minutes, depending on how the game's played. And that's what we're going to always shoot for is a good hour to play. We do play on normal game speed. We ask that all owners create a coach, not an owner, and don't use a, a current real coach. We do that to even the playing field. There's too many other rules and things that we would have to do to uh, make sure that that other section is delegated correctly and, and uh and made to be fair. So we just ask everybody to do create a coach mode. You're currently allowed to use custom playbooks. I'm an advocate for custom playbooks. I believe in them. But some guys abuse that. And so we are in discussions right now about what to do for 17. But as of right now, you're allowed to use custom playbooks. There are three playbooks that we do remove. And they ask that no one to use. Not the plays. Not the formations. But the actual playbooks. There is a playbook called Pistol, a playbook called Run and Gun, and a playbook called Run and Shoot. We ask that you don't use those. There's not enough formations and enough plays in there for it to be fair play. <coughs> <coughs> I'm really sorry about this, guys. All players must have show previous play option on in their franchise. You must have your kicking meter off. These are two things that are in your personal settings. Please make sure that they are set correctly. If not, it's going to cause a problem later down the road. When you have a CPU game, you have two options. You may play that CPU game. If you decide to do that, you must post a link to your stream. You must stream the game, and you get one shot at it. You may not quit. You may not leave. You may not disconnect from it. If you do, we will have to suspend a player. Option two is a straight sim. We'll turn injuries off, and we'll just straight sim it. Whatever it decides to do, it decides to do. If you don't let the commissioner know what to do and we notice the game isn't played, then we will just straight sim it. All owners must use Twitch. Twitch archives videos for us up to a month, and you must make sure that those settings are done. There's a link here that will show you how to do those settings. And the home team is always responsible for streaming. If the home team is having trouble streaming or causing lag, 
the other owner must put up the stream and the home team can take down the stream. If the lag is still there, you must you both may take the stream down. Please make a post in the chat that you had to take it down. You may never quit a game. It is uh, viewed as the gravest of rule violations. It's the biggest way to disrespect an owner, and it's also the biggest way to have yourself removed from our league. Don't quit games. Disconnects do not carry uh, scores over. <clears throat> no perfect way to answer this issue. It's something that we all have to face. And so to keep it simple, this is what we came up with. First half of the game, the game is always replayed 0-0. Zero, zero. No carry over or no get to the same score. Third quarter, if one team is up more by 28 or more, the, that team automatically receives the win. If it's less, the game must be replayed unless the losing team concedes. In the fourth quarter, winning team is up 21 or more. They receive the win. If not, if it's less, the game must be replayed 0-0 zero, zero, unless the losing team concedes. Please concede. If you know the game's over, there's no chance. Don't be a jerk about it. Concede. Don't force us to make that call. The two minutes left. All right, and you don't have the ball, and he's running the clock out, and you're down by 14, the game's over, concede. Overtime. Uh, a new game has uh, needs to be played, um, and play it with overtime rules. First team scores a field goal, the other team gets the ball. First team scores a touchdown, the game is over, and then we will sim to whatever team should have received the win. I've already talked about rules violations. Let it sit for 24 hours and then report it to a board member. We've also already talked about these board members and what roles that they play. Let's talk about a few rules. On offense and defense, both sets of rules, fair play rules, will be covered in this one statement that is on both sets. Owners are expected to mix up play calling and use different formations, sets, and plays every snap. If that simple line is followed, then the rest of this stuff won't affect you much. You can sum up everything that we're about to read in one sentence. Don't do anything excessively. And excessive is anything close to or more than half of your total plays. If you follow that one rule, then everything else won't affect you. The, the board, as a board, as a commissioner, we reserve the right to figure out and to make a judgment call if we feel like you're not mixing it up. If you say that's not in the rules, when you're, as a defense, when you're confronted, about not mixing it up, then this might not be the lead for you, okay? We ask that you play with fair play rules and be a strategic member in a strategic league. <clears throat> Unfortunately, there are some fair play rules that we need to have. I'm going to go through these quickly. Quarterback runs do not exceed 25% of the total runs, okay? Pretty simple. Don't run a whole, whole bunch. This excludes nil downs from that count. Do not manually sprint out of the pocket right after the snap. That's backwards, left, or right. It's just not realistic. Let's try not to do that. Do not drop back more than 10 yards. Again, not realistic. Let's try not to do that. Passing when you're outside the numbers. Once you get to the numbers on each hashtag or each hashtag on each hash line, you must pass the ball out of bounds or run with your quarterback. You may not throw the ball to a receiver or tight end or have by anyone. When you get outside the numbers, the AI begins to come after you. Cornerbacks and linebackers, everybody pulls off of people that they're covering, and they come straight after you, leaving your guy wide open. Let's stay away from that. We get to the numbers, throw it away, or take the sack, or run. <laughs> Halfbacks. We do have an 80-20 rule. That means for every four carries that your starter gets, you must formation sub your backup for one carry. Get your backup carries. 80-20. 20 carries in a total game, 16 should be to your starter, 4 of them should be to your backup. That can be done formation sub R1 in the play selection screen. Running outside the tackles and inside of the tackles must be 50-50. Too many guys just take tackle runs straight outside. We have to get them between the tackles. That must be mixed inside the tackles, up, up the middle runs, and outside the tackles, outside runs. <coughs> If you call a dive and it's blown up, then he beats you strategically. 
His players were better than your players. Take the hit. Don't be a jerk. Play the next play. Don't automatically see that he busted it right in the middle, but the outside's wide open, so you manually sprint or spin move or something and get to the outside and get a big game. If it's play, the call's played to go up the middle, then go up the middle. Doesn't mean you can never bounce. Just keep the bouncing very, very limited. No more than 25% of your passes may be screen passes, whether that's halfback, receiver, tight end, or fullback. <clears throat> 30% should not exceed play action. So keep the play action to a realistic minimum along with the screen plays. Fullback dives or fullback dives or quarterback sneaks are allowed third or fourth unless they're not allowed. So don't do them. I'm about to change that because I read it wrong. Sorry. No fullback dives or quarterback sneaks allowed third or fourth in two yards or less. It's too easy. Be strategic, call another play. Play calling. Uh, coach suggestion play calling is banned from the league. Learn your playbook. Learn how to play. Call your own plays. Use of the same type of play every third down is not allowed. Mix it up. Find other plays. Don't go to money plays or plays that work for you. Excessive hot routing and audibling. Uh, this is not sketch up your own type of play. All right. Call the play in your playbook. Get out there and run it. Do protections and slides. Do what you got to do there. But run the play a majority of the time unless you see something that you need to have a hot route every now and then. Don't do it a majority of the time. You must use some kind of pro set on offense. No shotgun only, four wide receiver only, big only, three wide receiver only, pistol only. Stay away from that stuff. Let's see you mix in some kind of pro formation. All vertical, vertical type plays. That's any play, whether it's a hot route or, or a regular play, that is more than two vertical routes need to be used four times or less per game. If you can't do that, then this isn't your league and you need to stay away because vertical routes are way overpowered in this game. Don't do any excessive quick passing. You don't see this a ton, but don't do an excessive quick passing before you finish the three-step drop back. <clears throat> you do see this don't excessive throw to the halfback or fullback keep that to a minimum and only use when it's necessary no manually motioning a player and snapping the ball before they're set so that you get an extra blocker if you manually move a player let them get set let the defense adjust run your play your run and pass ratio should not go over 70 30 in either direction don't become super pass happy or super run happy Let's try to keep these games mixed up and keep the ball moving and keep it fair. The play clock is never allowed to be ran all the way down unless you're in the last three minutes of the fourth quarter or the second quarter, the two halves. After the, the last three minutes, you may run it down. Other than that, get to the line, call your play, keep the game moving. On fourth down, you may go for it when fourth and two and less in your opponent's territory. Past the 50-yard line, fourth and two and less, you're good to go. You may go for it in any distance when you're losing by 20 points or more or in the fourth quarter or losing in overtime. In the fourth quarter, if you're just losing, not 20 points or more, 20 points or more is for any time in the game. In the fourth quarter, if you're just losing or in overtime, if you're just losing, you may go for it. <clears throat> no fullback dives or quarterback sneaks as we spoke about. All other fourth down situations, you must punt or kick a field goal. Fake punt, fake field goal falls into that acceptable go for it. If it falls in there, you may do it. Uh, you don't see a lot of onside kicks, but they're only allowed by the losing team in the fourth quarter only. And no huddle is only allowed in the two minutes of either half or if you're losing by more than 14 points in the second half. A team losing in the fourth quarter, no matter the amount, can run no huddle However, please let the defensive set before you snap the ball. Just the right thing to do. Let's talk about a couple of fair play rules on defense. Again, if you follow this first set of uh, sentences that I have here, it's a little paragraph, then everything else will fall into place. Coach suggestion play again is banned from the league. Do not do that. Learn your playbook. Learn how to call plays. Just like offense, do not sketch up your own play with hot routes. Get out there and run your plays. No excessive 
<clears throat> shifting and moving. Don't do all of that. No excessive use of non-base defense formations. So the rule of thumb is you can have one extra DB than receiver. If it's two receiver, three. If it's three receiver, four. Four receiver, five. So on, so forth. Not confusing. If they're coming out in two receivers, let's play a base defense. No accessing shifting of linebackers and defensive line or show blitz. You shouldn't be having 11 in the box all game long. Mix it up. Mix your formations up just like on offense and play right. You must rush at least three defense. De I'm sorry. Let's try that again. You must rush three defensive players on every play at minimum. Excessive use of any one type of coverage, whether it's man, zone, or blitz, is not allowed. Mix it up. Get it to as close as 33, 33, 33 as you possibly can so that it is mixed up. In this game, you'll see a lot of blitz on first, a lot of zone on third, a lot of zone blitz on, I mean, a lot of zone on second, a lot of zone blitz on third. Very, very little man. Mix it up. A base defense is a 4-3, a 3-4. I'd even put a uh, a 4-6 in there or even a 5-2 if you needed to. But a 4-3 or 3-4 needs to be used the majority of the time. The use of run commit can only be used in any situation of two yards or less. Anything else, it's banned. <laughs> Pre-snap movements. Here's what you're allowed to do. Special teams, you're not allowed to move anyone. Don't do it. Defensive line, you're not allowed to manually move a single defensive lineman. That can only be line shifts, left, right, pinch, spread. Linebackers, you can only move with inside the box, but do not be putting players into the gap. So you're not taking an offensive lineman who's outside the tight end, moving him inside right up on the line between the gap between a guard and a tackle so that you'll confuse the AI and get a, a simple sack. Don't do that. Keep players where they're supposed to be. I allow you to move linebackers around a little bit because if you know a certain out route or cornerback or uh, come back, I should say, or slant is coming, then I want to allow you the freedom to be able to stop those routes. But let's keep it realistic and not try to trick the AI. <clears throat> Linebackers are not allowed to be outside the box. Defensive lineman, if he is called to go after the quarterback and you're playing as him, you're not allowed to pull him off and now go into a zone or a man and, and not go after the quarterback. If he's supposed to go after the quarterback, that's where he needs to go. Safeties and cornerbacks may move up to the box, but may not enter the linebacker box. And they may go up to the outside of the hashes. They may go up to the line of scrimmage. But again, nothing inside the box. Keep that outside the box. Now, you're allowed to move one guy pre-snap on defense. If you move him, then you must play as him until the ball is snapped. So those are pretty easy rules for you to cover. Last few things is let's just talk about the fair play regulations for trades, off-seasons, those types of things. We do use the in-game cap sit, uh, system, sorry. Um, and so that's all controlled by the game. Trades, uh, you are allowed to do trades here, but here are the restrictions. You must be in the league for four advances. That's four Madden advances, which is usually two or a week and a half, something like that, human. We just want to make sure that you're here and that you're here for the long haul, and that you're not just going to be here for a game or two, make a bunch of trades, and then you're out. It also allows you, allows us to check your gameplay. You are allowed to do a trade of players 80 overall and up on Daddy League, and picks one through three. First round, second round, third round. You're allowed to move any combination of four of those things. Three players, one pick, three picks, one player, two and two. Whatever you want to do, every team is given four. That resets every off season. Does not carry over, does not roll over. You are allowed to win more things through betting threads and through the incentive plan. If that happens, you are allowed to have more pieces that you can trade. Players rated 79 and under and rounds four through seven may be traded at any time, <clears throat> and they do not count towards the four total players and draft picks that you can move. Those are just free back-end things that we allow you to move. It just has to be agreed upon, posted, and approved, and you're allowed to do it, and it doesn't count. We want to try to limit the top-end stuff, 
but allow the freedom on the back end so that you can move things around. We also retain the right to decline any trade that we feel may destroy the team if your owner leaves. Uh, future draft picks may be traded, but only two picks can be traded away if you have the spots, and none of those can be first-round draft picks, and it can only be for one season, and that's the next season, so no like two years down the road. A player drafted may not be traded in their rookie year, but they may be traded after their rookie year. Any player with a cap hit over $12 million may not be traded and may only be cut. If you have a high expensive player, it's over $12 million, you can't trade him, you got to cut him. Free agency, we have two, play, two times that you can sign players in season. 24 hours after advance, if a player is rated 80 overall or above, you must post a waiver claim on that player. 24 hours after the advance is over, we close all waiver claims. We award players. You're allowed to sign those players. 79 and under, you may sign all to your heart's desire. No post necessary. After that period is closed 24 hours, 48 hours after advance, those 24 hours you have to cut players. This is so that when we roll into the next league, all players are signed, all players are cut, Everything out there is out there, and everyone knows what's available, and there's no sneaking players, and we can't sneak players to our friend or end up because you are up at 3 o'clock in the morning and seeing somebody, you get to get him, and because I'm at work, I couldn't get him or anything like that. So you're allowed to sign up to five players per advance. Uh, you must hit the league minimum of 53 total players. The waiver wire will be set at draft time and then adjust it for weeks 4, 8, 12, and 16. Uh, please post correctly. <clears throat> we give you examples. We tell you exactly how to do it. Roster minimum is 53 players. Injury reserved is used in the game. Contracts, are there's a billion different ways, and a billion different leagues do it a different way. This is how we do it here. Uh, we do not allow four, five, six, or seven-year deals. You're only allowed one, two, or three-year deals. And there's only a minimum bonus. That must be 20% of the total salary. So make sure that the bonus you offer minimum, there's no max, but minimum is 20%. And the maximum years is three years. And you may sign a player. Uh, here are your cap hit rules. No team is allowed to have more than $25 million in cap hit every single year. That does roll over year to year. And sometimes those cap hits are spread over year to year. So make sure that you're checking that. If a cut or a trade puts you over the $25 million, uh, we're going to have to kill the trade <clears throat> and suspend a player if it is a cut. Please keep that under $25 million unless you win something through the incentive plan, which would allow you to have even more. Off-season free agency will happen in-game. And it happens at a random basis with the schedule that is set after the season's over. Everyone will see the schedule, but it will be random. So there's no sniping. The only person that will know will be myself. Uh, and I hold myself accountable with the board by telling them when my last bids are in and taking screenshots. A draft night will be worked out that works for most owners. Teams who can't make drafts may be able to trade out of the draft. It never fits everybody. I do my very best to give as many options as we can, but it has to fit for me as the commissioner because I have to be there. I do a pre-draft show 30 minutes before the draft and then an entire draft show where I break down every single player that is drafted that night. It's a lot of fun, and we'd love for you to participate in those live draft shows where you can call in and participate, or you can just call in and listen. Position changes. You're only allowed to play a player that is in this position chart. <clears throat> Anything outside is not allowed. Quarterbacks can only play quarterback. Halfbacks can play halfback or receiver. If they play receiver, they have to be the third receiver or less, fourth, fifth, sixth. Fullback can play fullback, tight end, halfback. Tight end can play fullback, but it has to be 80 speed or lower. Wide receiver can play tight end, 80 speed or lower. Offensive line is interchangeable. Defensive line is interchangeable. A defensive end can play outside linebacker. An outside linebacker can be interchangeable between a defensive end or a middle linebacker. 
A middle linebacker can play any outside linebacker or middle linebacker position. A cornerback may play safety, but he has to have 90 speed or lower. And a safety may play cornerback, no speed restrictions. Kickers and punters are interchangeable. Anything else that's not listed is not allowed. Every offseason, we allow you to post a position change that is not allowed in our our uh, chart. There's the word I'm looking for. Sorry. In our chart here. If you have a player that plays a different position that isn't listed in this chart, then we allow you to make a post and tell us why we should allow it, and then we give you the approval or we deny it. <laughs> Only halfback, fullback, and tight end can play in the third running back position in the depth chart, which comes after the special teams, which is that third down running back position. Please make sure that you always have three halfbacks, four cornerbacks, four wide receivers, four safeties, any combination of free or strong. Everything else we kind of let you deal with and make your team the way you feel like you have to make it. Every owner must create a coach. Uh, it's just so to keep the playing field even. We do an off-season and week one confidence reset, and I will reset your confidence during the bye week if you make a post. You have to make a post. The confidence reset only resets guys under 50%. And there you have it. That is all of our rules and regulations and how we operate here at Grown Folks. We also have weekly podcasts. Um, <clears throat> we have weekly posts that go up on our Daddy League page here on the blog. Um, I do Game of the Week every week. I do just a weekend review. I do these podcasts every Thursday night. I do interviews. Lots and lots of stuff for you to participate in. And we really encourage you to participate in those things and really be part of the community. So if this all sounds really good to you and sounds like something that's going to work for you, then I'm encouraging you to come over to that uh, new members uh, packet that I sent you. And follow those steps that are listed. In the new members packet, you're going to see these next three steps. If you're interested in a position, read the fair play rules, which you just went through. Answer this short quiz. It's an open book quiz, so you're able to read the rules and make sure that you answer this correctly and submit that to me. And then play a game and stream. I really would like to see you play a random because I know that a random that you play online is probably not going to play by rules. And I want to see, can you stay with character and integrity and stay strategic and play by the rules that we have here, even when the guy on the other end is not playing it, and get through the whole thing? I think that that speaks to who you are. If you're not willing to do that, then this probably isn't the league for you. Please make sure that your Twitch is set up to archive. That, uh, that way I can see the link and I can watch that game. You will send me that link. I'll watch it. I will approve you. If I approve you, we'll move you to the main chat. We'll get you a team, and you get to move forward with these next couple of steps. If you're not approved, then I may ask you to do a follow-up game and work on these few little things, and you can do that. Or I may say, look, it doesn't look like this is going to work out, and your gameplay doesn't fit. If you accept a position, please make sure you go to our Daddy Leagues page. Hit Join. So when you click this, if you're not logged in, so I'm logged in here, so there's not going to be a join button because I'm already here. If you're logged in, your stuff is here, there's going to be a join button, and that way I can get you a team so that when they hit coaches, all of your information is going to pop up, and I'm going to be able to get you in the league. <clears throat> if you don't have a login, sign up for Daddy League, and then go back to our page and make sure you hit join. Join our Daddy League page. Next thing is send me a message on GroupMe with your PSN, your forum name, and your Twitch account so that I can have all your information that goes into the Owner Leagues page. Check out our incentive plan, play catch up on our forums so that you know what is going on here in the Grown Folks Mad League. Last is participate in group meet. Please change your name. Right here you'll see the example that I get. Your name, parentheses, your team, comma, your PSN, parentheses. I need it that way exactly. I'd like for you to keep out like icons and all this other stuff. I need it this way because on GroupMe, it's the easiest way for me to search for guys and see who's around and who will miss it. And it's an easy way for me to not have to chase down the owner's list to see your, what I need to be able to send you a game and fight those types of things. Here's how you can post blogs and do other tutorials that would help you here. 
And then, of course, our out-of-town thread that we've already spoke about. Please make sure that you use that. And that is it. That is the full process of becoming a member here at Grown Folks. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and turn this thing off and let you get busy. I appreciate you checking us out. I appreciate your time and energy and effort. Look forward to getting to know you a little bit better. And look forward to you being a longtime owner here at Grown Folks and being part of our community. Check out the other Press Pass lives that we have. They're a whole lot more fun. We'll see you on the other side. Peace out. <laughs>